Welcome to day one of getting organized with Google. This is John Sawash, and today I'm going to help you organize your inbox. I encourage you to follow along as you watch this video. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and open up Gmail. Today I'm going to give you three different tips to manage email more effectively. First, we are going to archive some old messages. Then we're going to reduce the number of emails that we get by unsubscribing to messages that we frequently delete. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how to enable the new Gmail so that you can get used to this new interface and check it out over the summer. Let's get started. In my inbox right now, you can see that I have 4,195 messages. That is way more than I am ever going to be able to um, read, respond to, certainly over the summer. A lot of these messages I've already done that to. They're just sitting in my inbox collecting dust. I want to show you how to use the archive feature in Gmail to remove old messages for your inbox, but still have access to them. Let's get started. Let's check out one message. So I'm going to just click on uh, this message here. This is a message I just received. Just ignore the content. We're just focused on the, the process right now. Um, I can delete this message, mark it as spam, or I can click this button with the box that archives the message. I still have it, it's just not in my inbox. Now, where does it go? It goes into a folder, Google calls them labels, called All Mail. Now, at the moment, I've got 4,000 messages in my inbox, but if I click on All Mail, you'll see that I've actually received 33,000 messages. A lot of them had already been archived. Now, if you ever need a message that's been archived, all you need to do is search for it. So if I just search for a keyword, a person's name, it'll pull that message out of whatever folder it's in, even the archived message. If someone replies to an archived message, it'll pull that message into my inbox so that I see it once again. So what we're going to do is begin archiving some of these old messages. To start, I'm going to click on the number of messages that I have, 4,000. I'm going to go to the oldest message. These are going to be messages I've received over a year ago, and so I'm going to select the checkbox in the top left corner, select, and then I'm going to select the archive button. And I'm going to continue doing that until I get to messages that are more recent that I still need to respond to or categorize in another way. For me, I can do that for quite a long time until I get into um, recent messages. So that's tip number one. I'd encourage you to archive those old messages from this past school year. You still have them. They're just not going to be in your inbox. The second thing that you can do to organize your messages is to reduce the number of emails that you get in the first place. I know that I am guilty of every morning deleting the email that I get from Holiday Inn. Rather than taking a moment to unsubscribe from that message, because I never read them, I just continue to delete them. So take five minutes or less, just a couple minutes, go to Gmail and search for the word unsubscribe. This is going to pull to the top of your inbox all of the commercial emails that contain the unsubscribe link. Now here's an example from Amazon. I really don't need to get these types of emails from them anymore. If the email is well designed, Google will be able to find that unsubscribe link and it's going to pull it to the top of the email. So for the Amazon one, it found it and all I have to do is click unsubscribe and it's going to automatically unsubscribe me from that email without having to do anything at all. Now it doesn't do that for every email. Sometimes you're going to have to you know, go down to the bottom and figure out where that link is, but for a lot of them, it will be right up at the top. So go through and unsubscribe from email newsletters that you don't don't read, you don't even remember signing up for, reducing the number of emails you get is one of the best ways to keep your inbox organized. So archive messages, unsubscribe from ones you don't read, and then the third thing I want to show you today is how to enable the new Gmail experience. Now Gmail is a tool we use a lot, and so I want you to have the opportunity to begin adjusting and adapting to their new uh, design. You're going to click on the gear in the top right corner of your inbox and you may see an option that says try the new and it'll list your domain there, mail. 
Now, if you do not see that option, it means your IT administrator has not enabled this feature. I'm going to link to an article uh, that will uh, show them how to do that. You can send that to them. If they haven't or won't do that for you right now, you can always just go to a personal Gmail account and try it out there. So this is the new Gmail interface. It's very clean. A lot of white space. Um, over on the left, you'll notice that this uh, is an expanding toolbar now. It gives you more room to view your emails. Over on the right, you'll see that it's now integrated with Google Calendar. So I can see my calendar right from within email. I can also access my Google Keep Notes. And Google has redesigned their task manager as well. So if you're into to-do lists, you'll enjoy that. Another really helpful feature you can see right here, attachments to an email are now easily clickable right from your message list. So I don't even have to open the email. All I have to do is click on that attachment and it'll show it to me uh, right there. Take a few minutes to try that out the new Gmail. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and you can practice using it over the summer.